I'm not scared of you. <coughs> uh, nothing you can do to me will hurt me any more than the last guy. <laughs> Your boss will get his money when I have it. But until then, you guys need to just leave me alone. You see, I think there's been a mistake. I'm not here to collect any money. <laughs> I'm here to collect a body. Yours. So yeah, I think you should be scared of me. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 please. I'll get his money this week, I promise. No, put that away. No, no! Listen, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of cleaning up your mess. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Of course I'm still on board with the plan, but I can't have dead bodies showing up on my beach. It brings too much heat. No, she doesn't suspect a thing. Don't worry, little Kelly's gonna fall in love with me, and I'll make sure all fingers point at her once this is over. Oh, Sharky, this isn't good. This isn't good. I can't believe it. I can't believe a dead body was found on our beach. What are you doing, dude? I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I've been looking up the CCTV footage, okay? And it just makes no sense. Here, look. It's, 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 everything is fine. The beach is completely empty. The streets are clear. And right there, you see? It just cuts out. Like, 15, 20 minutes, like, before the next roll is meant to kick in. It just cuts out. And it doesn't start back in until... Steve finds the body. That's so weird. Well, it is kind of, like, I feel bad for Steve that he found the dead body because, you know, be yeah. dead bodies, they can, like, scare you for life and everything. Yeah. And uh, it's just, I can't believe it. Like, someone was shot on our beach. Like, they weren't just, you know, they didn't drown and end up on the beach. They were shot. That was, like, a serious yeah. crime. It's crazy. Like, my phone has been beeping all day. It's unbelievable. People can't believe that a body was found there. I mean, last week, a shark attack. Now a dead body. We need to be careful here, okay? This is our jobs on the line. Yeah, our jobs. And also, it's going to look really bad on us if bad things keep on happening at the Baywatch station. I mean, like, yeah. you don't see this happening, you know, all the way up at the loser beach, you know? The... Yeah, that's true. The little loser beach up there. But... Okay, okay. I can't believe they've cordoned off all down there as well. It's just insane to think that someone got killed on the beach. Actually shot. Like, I didn't think that kind of stuff happens around here. But, I don't know. It just, it just makes me feel a bit unsafe, really. Yeah, me too. It happened during the night, though, when no one was around. It was lucky that Steve found the body before anyone else. Because you imagine if someone, like a member of the public, came down for yeah. an early swim and found that? It would have been awful. It would have been disastrous. But, do you know what? What day is it today? I think it's Thursday. So, wait. Sergeant Michael is on. Um, I think he's on. Do you want to go down and see if he maybe has some answers for us? I guess we could. But, Sharky, we really need to start, you know, paying a really close attention to who's on the beach, what's going on, any dodgy dealings, uh, anything, like, in suspicious or anything like that. But, uh, I don't know. Do you think we should talk to the sergeant? Oh, gosh, there's so many people around. And is that... Is there news people? Oh, there's reporters here already. This is so, not good. I've already kicked off like five sets of camera crew, but you legally have to have at least one on the beach to report it. So I let them stay. They're a bit of a classier crew than Channel 5. You know uh, those guys. Yeah, those no, they, guys. they always make up stuff. They say that we shot the guy or something. <gasps> yeah, exactly. But look at the amount of people that are around. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, the dead body's still out. I what? don't want you looking at that, okay? It might give you nightmares. It? They haven't even covered it up or anything. They haven't no. tried to put a sheet over it. Oh, this is not good. Come on, guys. Everyone turn away. No one needs to see this. 
Oh my goodness, look, look, Kelly was shot in the head. Oh my this gosh. Is crazy. He's totally dismembered. This is not good. Okay, well, why don't we talk to the sergeant and see if yeah. they have any suspects or any clues or what's going on? Hey, Sedge, what's up, buddy? Um, myself and little Kelly and the guys up at the, the life um, guard hut were a bit kind of shook. Do you have any news for us? Maybe any suspects or clues? Any, anything going on that we need to be aware of? Hey guys, nothing yet really, but it's early days. Your boy Steve tried to give him CPR, so I'd imagine his DNA is all over the body, so that kind of rules him out. Any luck with the CCTV footage? No, you see, that's just the problem, Serge. The, the CCTV footage, it cut off like 15 or 20 minutes before the actual crime happened, it seems like. It was going in perfect and all of a sudden, bam, it cut off. I didn't start recording again until this morning. Super strange, right, LK? Yeah, it's totally bizarre. It's never happened before. Like, a whole chunk of our footage, basically a, like an hour, I think, in total, of last night is just gone, and there's no trace of it. We have no idea how anyone could hack into our CCTV like that. They must be really high-class criminals, you know, because like, how they, could they hack into ours? It just doesn't make sense, you know. The only people who have access to that is myself and little Kelly and the other two lifeguards that are there full time. And that's Steve and Jess. And it's only just to print off or kind of scan some copies in case something like this ever was to happen and the police needed it. But listen, we're still going to work on it. Maybe we could recon, I don't know, maybe some shops. Oh, oh the I area. have it. I have it. <laughs> There's some shops out on the front. Maybe they have cameras out and uh, out at the th entrance to the beach. And then maybe they caught who came down to the beach and shot that guy. Great idea. I was going to say some shops down the far end to see if they came onto the beach. But that's even better because the entrance, the only way on and off the beach is right behind the hut. And if the hut didn't get it, some of the shops might have. LK, you're a genius. Thank you, Ben. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, Sarge, we're going to look into this further. We know you have your hands full here. But uh, let us know if you hear anything. Come on, Sharky. We better go tell the other lifeguards where we're going. Yeah, I think so, too. LK, hold up a second there. You know what? This is all striking me a bit strange. You know, Steve said this is the first dead body he's ever found, especially when he's working on duty, and he seemed so cool and collected about it. Even this morning when he rang me to tell me and, and to tell you, he didn't seem all that bothered by it. It's not a bit strange? What are you talking about, Sharky? People react to shocking things in different way. Your whole body can go into shock and you can act, you know, abnormally. So something that should, would shock one person might not shock the next. And that's the way it works. You can't suspect a member of our team, Sharky. Come on. And plus, it's Steve. He's a really good guy and he's proved to be a really good trainee. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I don't blame him. I just think there's something fishy going on. I don't think that dude in there could be responsible for killing someone, especially not in this kind of way. But I mean, I don't know. Steve he tried to seems... give the dude CPR and he was already dead. Do you not yeah. realize how like traumatizing that is? That's true. That's true. It's just, I don't know. Okay, anyway, listen, we better tell him to kind of mind the fort. Then you and me can hit the streets and maybe we can try and get some better footage that's going on out there. I think that's the only way we're going to catch this dude. And this guy needs to be brought to justice. You're right, Cherky. But we still have lifeguard duties. I'm going to go check the ocean. I mean, no one would really come down to the beach on a day like today because of the murder. I can't believe yeah. I'm even saying that. A murder on our beach. Okay, know, well, it looks like uh, no one's actually in the water. I'm going to use my binoculars to see if there's any sharks. I mean, we chased that one away, but it doesn't mean they're gone for good. You know that? It is true. Now, little Kelly, I did put a closed barrier up on the top step so no one is allowed down. There is one or two people. I can see them in the distance, but they belong to that big hotel. We can't really tell them not to use that since they own that part of the beach. But they, they understand that there's no lifeguards on lifeguard duty today. We're just here trying to solve what happened to that poor dude down there. Yeah, I know what you mean. I still can't believe it. I mean, does that guy have a sister, a mother, a brother? Does he have kids? What's his story and why did he get shot? Maybe he's a criminal. Maybe he's the bad guy. Maybe Batman shot him. Hey, Batman doesn't shoot people. At least not with bullets. He shoots them with, like, bat things. Come on. Okay. Well, I don't know. You know, some vigilante. Maybe maybe it's a good... Oh, no, I can't say it's a good thing. No. Uh, okay. It's, it's definitely not. Uh, do you know what, LK? I think it's something to do with the new, the new <clears throat> gang boss that moved in close to the town. I heard he moved in and brought like a hundred different thugs and organizations down here with him to the, the beach area. 
it's not good. I, I never thought it would spill out onto the beach, but obviously it did. But okay, we're burning valuable time here. Let's go talk to Steve and tell him that he has to stay here. I'm pretty sure I could... Yeah, there he is. Look, oh, he's, he's up on top. top. Okay, let's go check it out. I mean, he must be in so much shock. Maybe we should, you know, get him like a hot dog or something when he's out. While we're out because, you know, yeah. people need to eat. Okay, let's go check this out. Steve, hey, Steve. He, dude, are you... He's, he's over here, he's over here. Okay, you tell him, Sharky. Um, hey, buddy, what's going on? Hey, man, are you okay? If you need to take the afternoon, you, you totally can. Myself and LK, we're, we're going to go hit the streets and see if we can get any CCTV footage from the cameras that are in the local shops. Maybe something like that could help us kind of finger the perp. You know, get, get, them, get them caught or something. But Point the finger at the perpetrator. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, if you need to go home, we, we totally understand, don't we, LK? Yeah, we do. We know it must have been seriously shocking, but we do have to head off. We promised the Sarge we'd help with the investigation. No, wait! I mean, no. <laughs> I'll go with little Kelly. You better stay here, Sharky, and keep watch. We can't have the beach with no head lifeguard now, can we? And besides, it'll give me a chance to get to know little Kelly, right? So yeah, I'll get my stuff and we should go. I can't believe in this day and age no one has any working cameras in their shop. There is just no way we're going to ever catch this guy unless he's left some sort of DNA or clues behind at the crime scene. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's like no one cares about the security anymore. Anyway, we best head back to the beach. I'd say Sharky is pooped after keeping watch solo for this long. Let's get... No, wait, look over there. That place has a camera on it. We should go and see if it works. Come on, Steve. Excuse me, sir. My name is Little Kelly, and I'm one of the head lifeguards down at the Baywatch Beach. I don't know if you heard about last night, but there was a serious crime committed just in front of your shop, and I was wondering if your camera outside might have recorded anything. Well, yes, you can try and have a look. That's no problem. I'm not much used to technology, so I'm afraid you'll have to pull it up yourself. The computer is in the back. I hope it can be some help. Darn computer. Wait, little Kelly, uh, uh, maybe you should head around back and see if there's more cameras in the alley and we can check them too. I'll go in and see if I can get the footage from last night. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, yes, there. Okay, now, where's last night's files? Under date? Nope, maybe day. Yes, okay, and delete. Whew, that was a close one. Just the one camera outside. Did you find anything on it? Please tell me you did. I'm afraid not, little Kelly. I'm so sorry. It's such an old machine that the files only work up till last month. Listen, maybe we should head back to the beach. Sharky might need a break or something. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Hey, thanks for trying, though. You've been a big help today, and, uh... Well, I enjoyed spending some time with you, but, uh... Anyway, let's head back. Yeah, that's totally okay, Steve. You relax and eat food and do whatever you have to do. Uh, oh gosh, I can't believe it. Poor guy. Hey, Sharky! Uh, oh what? my goodness. Oh, oh, hold on. What? Hold on, let me, just let me close this. Let me close this. What is wrong with you, dude? Mm. Are you playing video video games on the job again? No, no okay. You you and Steve are back, I see. Hey, Steve, what's what's going on, buddy? Um, you need you need to chill out or head home, but you do, you do whatever you need to do, okay? What's going on with you, Sharky? You're acting just, so strange. Just one sec, one sec. Jess, just, um, you, you keep keep grab for a second. I need to show LK something. LK, follow me. Where, follow me. Where are we going? On. Just follow me. Okay. Well, what's going on? Did you find something about the investigation? I have to tell you something, but it's in private. Now follow me. Okay, did you fart in there again and you blew, like you want to run away and pretend it was someone else's? That happened one time, LK. One time, okay? Now listen. Shush. Look around, make sure the coast is clear. I just want to check around here. You stay there. Sharky, you're oh, acting this. so listen, weird. Listen, little Kelly, I, I don't know how to tell you this, okay? And you may think I've gone crazy, but it, it, it's Steve. Something's crazy about him, okay? I went back and I found the CCTV footage. Not the part that Stephanie got missing, but there was some in a deleted history bin, and I managed to find it, and it was Steve. He came here two whole hours before he rang me, and he didn't do CPR on the body like he's telling everyone he did. He looked around it, he went off and made a phone call for a little while, and then he made another phone call, which was 911, and then eventually us. Well, I assume it was 911 and then eventually us. The point is, he made four phone calls, but three was just you, me, and the ambulance slash cops. 
who was the fourth phone call to? It was just acting really, really strange. And then it looked like, I don't know how to say this, but it looked like he was going through the body for like a wallet or some identification. And as the captain said, or the Sarge said, they don't even have any ID or anything like that on the dude. I, I think Steve took his wallet. I, I don't know. I don't think he did it, but I think he's trying to cover up for someone who did LK. What are you talking about, Sharky? You're going crazy. Look, you probably saw something strange, but Steve sometimes comes there early on his shifts to do a jog on the beach. He told me that. And also, like he could have been checking the body for a wallet like the police are to find out who the guy was so he could tell the ambulance. So then maybe they might have like, you know, a file on record and get him his blood type if he was going to survive or he might need an operation. Look, I think you're reading into this. And about the Ford phone call, he could have been calling his mom or... I I don't know, a, a fire brigade or anything. You don't know who he's calling. You can't just go accusing members of our team, Sharky. That's not what a good team leader does. Yeah. Listen, I know you're right, but it just it just seems so strange. It seems so weird. You have to look at the footage. In fact, yeah, let's well, I know. I can show you no, later no, on. no. I know for a fact, like, Steve was working really hard out looking in the shops with me to find out if anyone had CCTV footage. You're just building this up into nothing. If he was a part of this whole big conspiracy you have in your head, then why would he be helping with the investigation? Yeah, you know, that is true. It just, I know what you're saying makes sense, okay, but something in my gut is telling me, and no, it wasn't the burrito I had for lunch, or the four eggs. Or the seven of the chicken fillets I had. I'm, I'm a big bag. But it's not them. It's the fact that it's just the way he went on. He saw the body. He didn't panic. He looked angry more than anything. And not angry because someone died on his beach. Angry because it's like he knew who did it. And then his mannerisms. And uh, Listen, you're probably right. I'm probably blowing this way out of proportion. And, and the poor dude, I'm probably blaming him something, on, something he definitely didn't do. This yeah. Is, I Look, know. I don't know. I think you maybe just need to get a rest or something. It's been a really long day. We've been here since super early because of the whole, you know, dead body thing. So maybe we should just drop it for a minute and you can get a good night's sleep or a nap or something. And then we can yeah. talk about it again. Okay. Well, come on. Let's let's start doing our wind down procedure. This place is going to be closing down pretty soon. So maybe I can show it to you later on. It's me. We have a little problem. I think Sharky has to go. I think he's on to me. I'll look after this one myself. One, two, three defibrillators. Yeah, okay, that's that done. Okay, Sharky, you've done the stock check of the medical supplies. We're all good. Okay, good. I'm just signing off everything that's in here now. Um, oh, goodness. I keep writing Steve because it's all I can think about, okay? What? I just, I just don't know. But you've had a time to, you know, relax and chill out and you still think he might be a part of it? Sharky, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you might have, like, a weird obsession with this case. No, I don't think that's the case. Like, at the end of the day, someone died in our beach and that's cray cray, okay? But the fact that at one of our lifeguards reacted the way in which he did might mean to me that he needs more training. Or maybe this dude needs like a psych of analysis, something like that. Maybe, I don't know, just the way he acted seems so strange, okay? But as I said, I'll drop it. Maybe, you know, thinking he was a part of it, maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe I am being completely overdramatic then, but... I still think the dude needs to talk to someone. And as the head life guard, I'm going to make sure he Sharky, needs Sharky, 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 come on, dude. He's a nice guy. He's really, really sweet. I got to spend a good amount of time with him today working on this case. And, you know, he was nothing but nice to everyone that we met. Yeah. Listen, okay, I, I know you're right, okay? And I understand what you're saying. All I could say is, as the head life guard here, and I know you are too, I'm going to tell him he needs to speak to someone before he can come back on duty, because... I just don't think his head's in the right place. Hmm, okay, well, if you really think so. I mean, if anything, it might be good for him to talk about, you know, finding the dead body and stuff, because he didn't really speak to it about it to me, and, you know, bottling that stuff up is not good for you. Yeah, it's true. Wait, I just got an email. Oh, it, it's from Steve. It's a WhatsApp on my computer. Hmm, what's it uh, say? Hey, Shaggy. Thanks so much for looking out for me today. You're the best and the best boss. I was wondering that maybe we could take our friendship to the next level and maybe hang out sometime. Would you like to maybe go to the bowling or something later? 
Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Shaggy, you written. have to go. He's reaching out. He obviously needs someone to talk to. You're gonna have to go and be his friend. He wanted to talk to him anyway, so this will be a great opportunity. Yeah, do you know what? Uh, you're right, okay. I, I should reach out and talk to this dude. I've been giving him so much hate because I think he's something to do with it. And maybe, maybe he's just... I keep forgetting he's like five years younger than I am as well. Okay, hold on. Um, sure thing. Would love to. Um, see you there um, uh, at nine. Uh, okay, it's sent. Oh, we text back already. Sure, see you then at nine. Use the back entrance as the buddy of mine is the manager. The place is closed for renovations, but I can still get us in. Use the back knock two times and I'll let you in. Really looking forward to spending some time with you. See you. Aw, I'm kind of jealous. It's really cool. You have the pole bowling alley to yourself and you get to chill out with Steve and he's such a nice guy. Oh, that's so cool. Well, you know what? I better give him the benefit of the doubt. That is really nice of him to offer me to go. So... Yeah, do you know what? I'll go. I'll talk to him tonight. I'll see what he has to say. And, you know, maybe we can have a chat about it tomorrow. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm going to go make sure that the gates are locked up and that all the checks are done. Okay, all these are, like, pinned down. i got to close this over here. Okay, yeah. that's that done. Okay, I think that's everything, Sharky. I'll see you in the morning, okay? But please promise me you'll try and have fun with Steve and try to get him to talk about what happened today. I don't want him bottling that up. Okay. See you later, okay? Talk to you tomorrow. Bye!